hot. <sighs> oh God! <laughs> well guys, I cannot believe it, but it's finally time. We're going back to Alaska. If you guys haven't been keeping up with the channel, I've been doing this for a while now. I take off and I spend the entire summer creating content for you guys up in Alaska. And our journey begins today in Fargo, North Dakota. Me and where's Lindsay? There she is. Me and Lindsay, we're here and we get the tough task of driving all the way to Alaska from Fargo. I believe it's about 51 hours. It's gonna take us five days, 11 hours each day. <sighs> I'll make this one long video of just driving all the way up from now until we get to our place that we're staying this summer. So I'm pretty excited. Yes, I did get my baby back. I got the Tundra back finally and it looks absolutely minty. We got the topper installed finally, so that's looking fantastic. And got the CVT tent. Then we're gonna be doing some camping along the way to Alaska. Each night we stay at a campground and we sleep in that. And then back here, I mean, we just got all of the goodies, all right? When you're traveling the Alaska highway, gotta make sure you got some gas just in case you run out of, you know, some gas and in, in a pinch. Uh, we got clothes, our cooking stuff, and then check out this King Daddy cooler that Remington sent over. This is 150 quart, and this is the biggest cooler I've ever owned. So I told them, send me one. I'm gonna test it in Alaska, and I'll let you guys know how it is. They also sent some other things, so shout out to them. They'll be linked in the description below. Miss Lindsay, are you excited for Alaska year two for yourself? I'm very excited. I have been telling you for the last couple months, I'm more excited this year than I was last year because this year I feel like I know what to expect a little more. I know some of the things that I had fun doing that I wanna do again. And I know some of the things that I didn't get to do last year that I wanna do this year. And I'm very excited because I'll actually have some friends coming up too, as well as some of the boys that are coming. I'm really jazzed up. But if you want some good bonding with your spouse or your person your relationship with, I suggest going to Alaska. What's better than getting to know them for 51 hours? And you're gonna find out how strong your relationship is because you either will be broken up by the time you get to Alaska or you'll be stronger. Right, Lindsay? I feel like ours must be pretty strong because we did it last year and we are doing it again. Well guys, it has been about eh, six hours or so and we made it to the border. Let's see if they let us in. One eternity later. All right, it's been another, I don't know, Lindsay, what would you say, 20 minutes or so, 20, 30 minutes? Yeah, probably 30 minutes. Probably 30 minutes or so. And we actually had to pull into like a garage and they had to search the old tundra just to make sure everything was good to go. And of course, everything was good. And now we have finally made it into Canada. Woo! So right now we are at North Portal in Saskatchewan. And if you guys watched our videos from last year, we're doing the exact same route. We're basically just gonna go to Saskatoon tonight. Tomorrow we'll end up in Dawson Creek, British Columbia. Uh, then the next day would be Watson Lake. And then the day after that, we would get into Alaska and stay somewhere around the Toke, Alaska area. So uh, we enjoyed it so much. We're doing that again and looking forward to this drive. I'm hoping we see some animals, but that won't happen until we get to British Columbia. So basically today's drive and tomorrow's drive is gonna be pretty boring, but by day three, it should start to look pretty cool. I'll try not to bore you guys too much with so much talking and stuff, but um, we're just gonna make our way over to our campground, make some food and then go to bed tonight and just do it all over again. So just come along with us and hopefully you guys enjoy this little vlog to Alaska.
Well, Bucko. Oh, I think we got a friend. I don't know if he's a friend or an enemy. <laughs> well, the old tundra made it day one. Well, everyone, we just made it to Saskatoon and we're at our little rooftop tent place for the night. Right now, Lindsay and I have to use the bathroom, so we're definitely gonna do that. But the rest of the drive was pretty boring, except we did see our first wildlife of the trip. That's right, folks. We saw two little moose running around in Saskatchewan. Like, pretty crazy. I didn't even really know there was that many of them, but we saw some of those guys running around, so we chased them down and did a little bit of filming. I'll overlay all that right now. But, yep, we made it to spot number one today, and we're just going to go use the bathroom, set up the rooftop tent, Maybe get a little bite to eat and then tuck her in because we still have four more days of this. Eleven minutes and twenty seconds is all it took for me to set up my tent right there. So um, I got pretty good over the years setting this up. I can get it sub ten if I'm like really, really, really going at it. This is more of a relaxed one, and not bad for the first setup of the year. But as you can see, we're all set up, and it, unfortunately, it is starting to rain. So I want to put this camera away so it doesn't get any more damage than it is already. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed our day one. Lindsay and I are just literally gonna hang out and uh, we're not even gonna eat any dinner because we, we made a sandwich a little bit ago and we're totally fine. So I think we're just gonna crawl up there and hope this rain doesn't get to us inside of our tent. And I'll let you guys know if anything crazy happens. But other than that, I'll plan to see you guys tomorrow morning for day two of our travel to Alaska. The next day. Hello, mate. Hello. How did you sleep? Not the greatest. <laughs> not, not the greatest, eh? Terrible. Look at, can, I wonder if you could see it on camera. Oh yeah, they can see. This yeah. is dry, that's what. So it's pretty much all the way around, like just wet, especially in the corners, but the center is dry. But like, I don't know how much rain they got here last night, but it seemed like a ton. It was so loud. Well, good morning, everyone. It's the next morning and we survived. Uh, it absolutely downpoured last night, as Lindsay was saying. I mean, you guys can see right there, we got some wetness, but the old rooftop tent for the most part kept us pretty dry yesterday and gave the tundra a little wash. We're gonna pack up a couple things, get a little bite to eat, and then get back on the road the destination for today is Dawson Creek, and Dawson Creek is pretty unique because that is where the start of the Alaskan Highway begins. So come along, let's go. Let's see if we can see something cool on this drive. Yep, just one tomato, that's all I need. I just had one extra use. There's more in the bag! All right, everybody, we are four hours into our drive and another milestone made, we actually went into Alberta. So currently, we're in Edmonton, Alberta. 
Seagulls are getting after it. Lindsay and I are making some sandwiches. Uh, that's what's been for lunch, like this whole entire trip, sandwiches. And here's a little life hack, guys. We went over to Jimmy John's before we left and you asked to buy their day old bread and they give you loaves on loaves for 50 cents a loaf. So Lindsay went over there and got it done and we're basically eating Jimmy John sandwiches for lunch on our whole entire trek. Sheesh, these even look better than Jimmy John's, bruh. Hey, get out of here, bucko. Scram. I'm starving. We're gonna continue to make these sandwiches and then get back on the road and hopefully make it to Dawson Creek. Well, actually, Lindsay and I made an executive decision. We stayed in Dawson Creek last year. We're gonna go an extra hour and go to Fort St. John, and that's where we're staying tonight. So, Fort St. John, here we come. Oh, goodness gracious, everyone. I don't even know how long it's been, but we made it to Dawson Creek, British Columbia, okay? So we started out in Saskatchewan today. We drove all the way through Alberta and we're in British Columbia now at Dawson Creek. And this is cool because this is where the Alaskan Highway begins. There's this little sign at the beginning of the Alaska Highway that's like pretty, I don't know, touristy. We stopped here last year, so I thought I would bring out the camera and show you guys it real quick in case you guys haven't seen it. All right, well, that is the sign right there. We were here last year, and we actually, I think we hung up a sticker somewhere on this guy right here. I don't even know what sticker I think we, we hung put it on, on this pole, but I can't We might have hung it. it on that pole. I don't know, but we hung a sticker on here and uh, I'm assuming it's there somewhere. Oh, it's right here. Oh, she found it. Where it's is it? It's this one. It's that one right there. How do you know it's that one? Because I remember it. I bought it at oh, store. Okay. Well, that's our sticker from last year that we put up here. So that's pretty cool. If you guys ever are going to do this drive, make sure to stop here check out the old sign right here and check out our sticker that we put there you can say hey Mindac outdoors put that sticker here oh my gosh okay we got about an hour left till fort john's or whatever where we're staying tonight see you guys there all right guys we have made it to our campground for the night we are in fort st john's is that what it's called Lindsay? Yep. Yeah, we're in Fort St. John's, and yeah, this is a pretty cool little place here. As you can see behind me, there's just a bunch of pull-in places. Uh, if you're bringing an RV, you can put your RVs here, but we obviously are gonna be doing the all rooftop tent thing in this son of a gun. It's pretty cool though. But one thing that I forgot to mention while we were driving up here, there's been a lot of forest fires in Canada. Um, I'm probably sure you guys up north have been hearing about it just because all of the haze and all of that stuff is going down in the U.S. and uh, affects the air quality and stuff like that. So the wildfires are definitely a problem up here. Um, in Alberta, we went through one little section where you could see evidently it, it got it pretty good. Um, I'll overlay all that so you guys can check it out. But we're okay. We made it. And we're going to keep checking all of the wildfire updates on the internet uh, as we drive up just to make sure, you know, we don't get i don't know caught on fire or something guys I, I don't really know but anyways uh i'm gonna set up the tent i'm not really gonna film that because you guys would get too bored of that but i'll show you guys what we're gonna have for dinner later all right guys so we got the rooftop tent set up and we did it so early because it was wet this morning as you guys saw so we wanted to let it air out and we put our sleeping bags right there as well so they could air out and then you come over here chef lynn's be going off Lindsay, what, what do you got going on right here? We are having a classic, a childhood classic, hot dogs and mac and cheese. John's fave. Hey, right on. Lindsay and I, we're just gonna call this a day. We're just gonna hang out here and I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. The next day. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. Lindsay and I have gotten on the road and we're heading to Watson Lake today. Today is our shortest drive. It's a nine hour and 50 minute drive from Fort St. John and we already started. So we're excited for today, mainly because there's a chance of seeing animals as well as some cool mountains and all the cool nature stuff. So sit back, relax. I'll try to document this as best as possible 
and yeah, just enjoy it. We decided to go beast mode. We ended up going an extra two and a half hours today where we are put at right now at Teslin Lake Teslin. I don't know if that makes sense. Basically we're in the Yukon. We were gonna stay at Watson Lake, but we said, hey, we're feeling pretty good. Let's just send it. So we went another two and a half hours and we're in Teslin. Set up the rooftop tent and Lindsay made some spaghetti, which we are going to absolutely destroy. But it's crazy. The, the more and more north that you keep going, the colder and colder it gets. As you guys saw at the beginning of the video, I was short sleeves and pants on, like shorts. But now I'm kind of bundled up because it is freaking cold. Hopefully tonight we stay warm enough in the rooftop tent. That thing is pretty insulated, so I'm not too worried about it. But as for today in a hole, what a day. I mean, we, we saw a lot of animals. I think we saw like so many bears, a brown bear, black bear, caribou, uh, some porcupines and some bison, just a lot of cool stuff happened. So day three in my books was a success. I know you got your mouth full of spaghetti, but did you have fun today? Just give me like a thumbs up or a thumbs down. We're gonna eat this food, go to bed, wake up, and we have two more days left of driving. Tomorrow, we're gonna have about a nine hour drive to this place in Alaska. Hours. Oh, it's 11 hours? Minutes. All right, boss man corrected me there, if you guys know what I'm saying. But yeah, okay, um, 11 hour drive tomorrow, and then to kick it off for the last and final day, we're just gonna have a, a short little drive. So, um, we're gonna continue this video. We're getting there, guys. We are slowly but surely getting to Alaska. The next day. Well, everyone, Lindsay and I made it through the night. We're starting out day four on the road already. We got an 11 hour drive in 16 minutes. We're going back into the US today, which is pretty exciting. We're going to Glen Allen, Alaska. So we're just gonna keep chugging along, driving through the Yukon. Hopefully we see some cool stuff. And uh, I remember last year, this stretch right here, uh, the Alaskan Highway is known for its potholes and how uh, bumpy it gets with all of the frost heaves. So this day, we'll get a little bit bumpy. But I also remember there's some cool lakes we pass and some cool mountains. So I'm looking forward to that as well as some wildlife.
my goodness gracious, it is bright outside. But guys, this is pretty much the moment that you guys have all been waiting for. Lindsay and I drove all morning, saw some pretty cool stuff, saw a couple animals. The scenery was what was really awesome. Made it through all the potholes and the potholes were, eh, we went flying a couple times in the old tundra. But we are right before the border crossing here in Alaska in the Yukon. And I thought I'd bust the camera out and show you guys the old Alaska sign. Welcome to Alaska. Look at that, Lindsay. It's been four days and now we're here. How do you feel? Um, tad bit carsick from the bumps, but it's been an amazing four days. It feels like we just left. Right. Like last year, the trip went by fast and this year I think it's going by even faster. It feels like we just left. I can't believe we're already in Alaska. So this is pretty cool. I'm glad we made it this far, but uh, technically speaking, we still have a little ways to go uh, for the tonight. We're going about another four hours to Glen Allen where we are going to camp one last night. And then we're gonna finish the remaining of the leg the day tomorrow morning. And we have to stop into Anchorage, grab some stuff that I left to my grandparents, pick up Sam Lehman, and then bring you guys uh, to our Airbnb. But I think I'm gonna put the camera away, cross the border, and I'll see you guys in Alaska. Well, guys, um, it just seems like every time I talk to you, the plan always changes, and that couldn't be more truthful than right now. I don't know when the last time I saw you guys was, but basically, Lindsay and I were driving, and we just decided to go beast mode. Where we were going to stay was Glen Allen, and it was only going to be about three and a half hours away from Anchorage. But when we got to Glen Allen, we are just like, you know what, let's just send it all the way to Anchorage right now and spend the night at my grandparents' cabin. If you guys are OG Mindac subscribers, you guys recognize this place. Uh, this is where my grandparents have one of their houses and uh, we like to stay here. It's a really peaceful area. So we're at the homestead right now and we're going to just decompress after a trip because, I mean, we traveled a long ways to get to where we are right now in Alaska. And it just, it feels so good to finally be here. Um, we still have a little leg left, so we're gonna go to sleep tonight, wake up tomorrow, go pick up Sam Lehman at the airport, and then drive to Soldatna from Anchorage, which is about two and a half to three hours. So we still have one more day of this vlog, and hopefully it's going to be ending with showing you guys our place that we're gonna stay this entire summer to create content for you. But it just, oh, there's a deer. Oh, wait, what's, oh, whoa, 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 what's going on? Holy crap, there's a bear right here. I'm not even lying. I'm, I'm, I'm not even lying, there is a brown bear right back there, oh God. I don't know if you guys can see him. There's literally a freaking brown bear right there. That scared the living crap out of me. I can see him right now, but you guys can't see him. He's right through all these trees. Oh, what the heck? Okay, so that is a little scary. I just heard like, like stuff crashing down and I'm just like, what the heck is that? I look over, just a freaking random brown bear. It looks like he was a little more scared than me, but um, looks like he's walking down to the creek right now, but anyways, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it just feels really good to be here in Alaska and I hope I don't get eaten by this bear. I'll see you guys tomorrow. The next day. Hey buckos, how's it going? Pet rabbits. Well everyone, it is the next day and I didn't do much filming picking up Slayman. He's back over there. Um, just because eh, you guys have seen that before. You guys have seen him before. All we did was drive to my grandparents, sleep that night, woke up, got Sam, came to our place that we're staying uh, this year in Soldatna, got groceries, and just got settled in. And now I'm deciding to pick up the camera and show you guys where we're going to be living for this entire summer. But we made the trek 51 hours, I believe over 2,700 miles, it feels good to be home.
What up, brother? Not much, brother. Welcome to Alaska. Hey, thanks, homie. I like it here. It's good to be back. Shall we give the tour of the place? Oh, we shall. Should we start from the big yeah. up top, let's, I let's guess? Let's start outside, huh? All right, guys. Well, there's the rig. The rig made it all the way to Alaska. And again, this is our home for the summer. Now, last summer, we had a smaller cabin. But we decided to get a Chungus Daddy because we had so many little gremlins come and visit us. We thought, let's get some more room for everybody. So basically, this whole side is ours. This is like a duplex, so there's other people living on the other side. But we won't bother them at all. We've got a nice yard right here, and there's pet rabbits, as you guys saw, running around all the time. So they're like massive. On camera, they don't look very big, but they're very big. Okay, so they're going to be cool to have them running around. It's like Jim and Pam, if you guys remember that, the OG people. But we got a little fire pit here for some Alaska summer nights, a eh, Slayman? Oh yeah. And then you want to show the folks the porch that we got going on? Dude, the porch is like the best part of this place. Coming on here, just right off the door. Look at this awesome, amazing place. We got some chairs, we got a table, we got some of the rods set up on there. But this whole place is covered, so that way when it rains, we don't get poured on. We got a nice little grill, we got a nice little big garden area, and then obviously to the garage it's pretty nice i like it. it's nice and big it's open we're definitely going to be chilling out here a lot ladies first oh wow okay thank you so much. all right so this is what we were talking about the mud room so this is before this is the porch out there this is before we go into the main house um this is really nice in here like again we got all our wares hanging up um, stuff's gonna be nice and dry for our excursions after we get very wet in Alaska. Um, another closet for miscellaneous stuff. We have rods in there right now, but we'll figure it out. But you take off the shoes right here, and then you go on down here, uh-huh, and then bam, look at the crib. I don't even know where to begin. But first we got Lindsay doing some journaling. She made the drive with me. We got a big sectional couch. I believe this also pulls out into a bed or something like that so someone could sleep here. Uh, we got a big old TV, a fireplace that we cannot use, but it is awesome down here. Cool little view out there. We got our camera station over here for the summer. We're gonna have stuff charging and all of that good stuff. One thing that we have this year that we didn't have last year is a big open space for a dining table. Last year, we just all ate on the couch. This year, we have the couch. And if you want to, we got a dining table, which is very cool. Moving over to the island. This is pretty self-explanatory, just the island. Uh, we can have breakfast there. Three more chairs with stools. And then over here is our kitchen, which is a lot bigger, guys. Way bigger than last time. We got the gas stove, which is really nice. Everything just turns on. It's already hot. I like it a lot. This guy with a fan with the light on it, um, toaster, microwave, cabinets, and all of the goodness. And we already went to the store. Fred Myers, actually, if you guys know what Fred Myers is, it's the Walmart of Alaska. And we got all the groceries, which was a hefty bill, if I do say so. Schlemmen, you want to show us over here? So we got this long hallway coming from the kitchen area. First room to the left, we got the bathroom. Uh, it's pretty nice. I did actually kill a massive spider in here, which was... Uh, dude, I heard some weird noises this morning. Is well, that what that was? I used a broom, dude. It was so big, I didn't even want to get near it with like a tissue, man. It was, it, that <laughs> thumb size, man. Ugh. It was big. Two sinks, which is pretty bougie, right? Oh, yeah. Nice we can both be brushing our tub. teeth. Big old... Toilet, so John doesn't clog it. That's mint. Hey, right on. I think you mean you, but whatever. Hey, right on. And then we got my room right here. Flexed up. No, I don't have much in here. I mean, it's a pretty big room, though, yeah, dude. Yeah, well, it's a lot bigger than last year's. It's double the size from last year, so that's, right. that's lit. But, uh, yeah, this is my pretty simple, pretty basic. But let's go check out the other rooms. We got two more bedrooms. We got John and Lindsay's. Pretty, pretty chill in here. King size bed, so that'll be nice to have for the summer. Oh yeah, and then this is for all of the greeble friends that come. But they got two twin beds. 
And yeah. yeah, right now we're using it kind of just for like storage. Ex excess storage. We got some fishing stuff that we need to organize and we brought a lot of fly reels that we got to figure out. And then it's really cool because everybody has these massive, massive closets. I mean, this could let alone be a uh, bedroom. You could literally throw a greeble in here if need be. So greeble closets, we love it. But yeah, that is pretty much the whole tour of our lovely abode. Um, I'm really excited to be here. It feels so good to be back in Alaska. I miss this place a lot. I was basically counting down the days till we got here after we left from last year. So um, thank you guys for watching today's video. That is basically our whole journey getting here to Alaska from the States. So if you guys have any questions about the drive, drop comments down below. If you guys are gonna be driving up, be careful of the wildfires. But we, Lindsay and I, we didn't have a single problem if you guys do the route that we did. And that's pretty much the basic route that everybody takes. So you guys will be totally fine if you decide to drive up. But now is where the fun begins. Today, Sam, myself, Lindsay, we're gonna get our fishing licenses and then try to get on some kings, some halibut, whatever it may be. Let us know what you guys wanna see this summer. We're here the entire time doing stuff for you guys. So whatever you guys wanna watch, We'll, we'll read the comments and try to go out and do what you guys want it. So thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll catch you on the next one.